Sometimes we will be given a statement and we need to disprove it. The way to disprove a statement is to just, to just find one counterexample, one example where it doesn't work, and that will disprove the statement, because the statement will be saying it for all possible, uh, well, or for all possibilities. And so we just need to find one example where it doesn't work, and then the whole thing falls down. So, if we look at this first one, if x squared is greater than x, then x is greater than 1. Okay, so we just need to find one example where this doesn't work. Now, if x is equal to, let's say, minus 3, then minus 3 squared is 9, which is definitely greater than minus 3, okay? So the first bit here, it works with, so x squared is definitely greater than x. And then it's saying, well, if that's true, then x is greater than 1. But we chose x is minus 3, so clearly that is false. Okay? It does not imply that x must be greater than 1, because we found that if x is minus 3, this works, and we found that x is actually less than 1. So x is equal to minus 3 is one example where number 1 fails. In fact, you could have chosen, uh, well, uh, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, okay, whatever. Minus 1, of course, wouldn't have worked, because then you would have had 1 is greater than, uh, oh no, wait, oh no, you would, you would have been alright then. Uh, sorry, one, minus 1 squared is greater than 1, well, of course. And then minus 1 isn't, doesn't work in that second statement. So that would have been fine. Let's have a look at number 2. n squared plus n plus 41 is a prime number for all positive integer values of n. Now, normally, for these types of problems, it's useful to then go through uh, putting in uh, values of n. Okay, So you might try 1. Um, and then you try 2, and then you try 3, and see what numbers you get, and determine whether they are prime or not. For some purposes, it's also um, quite easy to spot whether this is going to be true or not. Because if I substitute in n is 41, for example, then 41 squared plus 41 plus 41, okay, so we work that out, 41 squared plus 41 plus 41, that's 1,763, which is divisible by 41, so that's 43 times 41, because you can effectively factorise that left hand side, you can take 41 out of a bracket, then you'd have 41 left there, plus 1, plus 1, is equal to 40, well, is equal to 41 times 43, which is 1763. So we found a value of n, a positive integer value, uh, where this is not prime. And so this statement falls down. Number 3. ABC is a three-digit number. If ABC is divisible by 5, then CBA is divisible by 5 also. So if we chose ABC to be 1, 0, 5, for example, then my A is 1, my B is uh, 0, and my C is 5, then CBA is that number reversed. But 501, that's not divisible by 5, and this statement says that it should be. And so that is an example where number 3 fails. So let's have a look at number 4. Um, if n is prime, then n squared plus n plus 1 is prime. So if n is prime, let's choose the first prime number, n is 2. So we're going to get 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. So 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. Now that's prime. So we're going to have to try n is 3. Okay, so we get 3 squared plus 3 plus 1 
and that's 13, that's prime. So the next prime number is 5, let's try 5, so 5 squared plus 5 plus 1 is 31, that's prime. Then n is 7, so 7 squared plus 7 plus 1 is 57, um, and 57, that's not prime, okay? So 57 could be divided by 3, 19 times. Okay, so 57 is not prime. So we found an example, n is 7, where this doesn't work. Then number 5, the sum of n consecutive integers is divisible by n. Okay, so we just need to find one example where we have n consecutive integers and then we divide it by n and say that it's divisible by n. So the sum means adding them up. So if I had just two numbers, so let's say 1 plus 2, well 1 plus 2 is 3, but 3 is not divisible by 2, because I'm looking at 2 integers there. 3 is not divisible by 2. So this statement fails. Okay, so I found that the sum of two consecutive integers, namely 1 and 2, is not divisible by 2. So one example and the statement failed. And that is how this process works. Find an example and then that will disprove the statement.